Good evening guys from another video here in Sri Lanka. Specifically, we just arrived to Ella. And in today's video guys, I'm gonna be taking you with for a tour through this beautiful hotel that we're staying at called The Hideout here in Ella Hotel and Resort. So guys, we're gonna go ahead and head on in here right now. Subo Sandiavak Machans, how we doing? Uh, nice to meet you guys. So we're gonna be staying here the next two nights in Ella and um, the staff's gonna get us checked in. Really excited, they actually just opened up this hotel so when I tell you this place is modern guys, it is literally freshly built here and we'll be taking you around through the whole area, the amenities, the food to eat with these gentlemen. I'm sure you'll see them throughout the video as we tour this place and stay here the next couple nights. So let's go ahead and do it. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the rooms that are here. I'll take you guys out on the patio here in just a moment. We've got Harry Jaggard in the video as usual. So you guys remember the British legend. And we are going actually, first of all, it looks like, hello Machan. Yeah. We are taking the elevator up here. And actually, no, we're taking the elevator down. So we'll be heading down to floor three here or B3 as in basement three. So basically how this place is laid out is on the rooftop. There is basically a dining sky bar area and then going down are where all the rooms are at. So we have B1 through B5 here. So rooms on every floor. Of course, you're gonna get different views depending on the floor you're at. The higher you go, the better and the further out in the distance you can see. Down there, we've got a nice pool. We'll be testing that out probably tomorrow. At night in LA, it gets a little chilly here, so it's more of a daytime hangout spot. Now we're gonna head in. First of all, the cool part about this place, guys, we even have keypads here. So you don't have to be like me, who usually forgets his key in the room. You just remember that passcode, you can hop right in. So let's head on in here, my friend. All right, guys, we are entering. Key card has been entered, and we have lights in this place. So, wow, this is very nice, guys. We have, you just have your total jungle vibes feeling here. We've got nice drinking water, some, looks like teas, coffees, a little water heater there, and a very beautifully designed aesthetic layout here. You have the wooden backboard. Oh, that is nice. And guys, you can even smell. And it's brand new. One day on YouTube, we'll be able to share the smells of what we're smelling here. We've got a TV, it looks like, over here. And coming up to the window. Oh, guys, I think this is the best part. Look at this. Wow. Unbelievable views. Like, you can literally see miles and miles into the distance here. Mountains. And, oh, we've even got a little Juliet balcony, too. So, get that fresh air in here. And uh, got a glass balcony here for safety. So, look at that, guys. Just look into the distance here. Towering mountains. I believe that's uh, Little Adam's Peak over there. And down there we have basically the road leading up to the local spot. What I really like actually about the location of this place is it's only like three minutes uh, tuk-tuk ride from the center. So you're so close to everything, but you literally feel like you're secluded from everything at the same time. Honestly, this is a, looks like a pretty romantic spot to be hanging out. You get your two chairs there and you got the bed. So, oh yeah, we're gonna be testing that out later. Looks comfortable, let's test out the pillows, uh-huh. That's feather pillows right there, guys. And we've already got the TV on. So that's that right there. Let's go ahead and check out the bathroom here. Knock, knock. I don't think anyone's in there, but we're gonna check anyways. We've got full modern shower here. Check the water pressure. Oh yeah, that's great. Western toilet, very nicely designed in terms of the aesthetics. Plugs everywhere. And some fresh clean towels. We'll show you the shower. Ah. Oh. Nice and warm, guys. As you can see here, adjust it to 41. You can lightly move it. Now we turn it up. Oh, that's getting a little hot. Oh, actually, I think it turned it to be a little cooler. Let's try going a little colder. And now we're changing to our adjusted temperature. Ah, quite nice. And we even have everything we need here to get cleaned up. Oh, that just got hot. I think I twisted it the wrong way, guys. Ah. Ooh, that was a nice shower. And so now that is the room tour, guys. Yeah, nice space, guys. This is gonna be such a relaxing stay. So you guys, then coming back out here, look at that, we can see the pool from a better view here. It's a bit of an infinity pool into the jungle. So that's got its unique vibes to it. And then down here, the hair man. The hair man down there. Hey, Saya. Hello, Saya. And then we've got plenty of like, basically deck space leading all the way up to the top, so. It is such a comfortable layout here. Modern, jungly. It's just, uh, for me guys, I love, love, love modern, as you know, or as I hope you know, if you've seen a lot of the videos that uh, I share modern places I stay at, so it's cool to see. You got the option to take the elevator or you can take the stairs. I think I'm gonna get a little exercise, so I'm gonna take the stairs actually right on down. No, we'll go right on up. And we'll show you the decks upstairs because we're a few minutes past sunset, but that's okay. 
So guys, then coming back to the main floor, the lobby floor, we have one of my favorite areas, which is the deck space. So when you come out here, plenty of space to sit down, hang out, and you have views of the jungle all over here. There's the pool again, and some of the places have some really cool balconies. You can just hang out, look into the views, and coming over this way, you can see the balcony wraps all the way around. So, oh, when I say we are in paradise, guys, this is what I mean. Just unbelievable views. You're probably gonna hear me say that so many times in this video, guys. I'm not gonna lie because I'm just like, I'm out of breath from running up the stairs, but I'm also just in awe because who would have ever thought, you know, like a lot of the world I feel like doesn't know how beautiful Sri Lanka is. Even after being in Sri Lanka the last few weeks now, I keep being blown away. And especially now that we're in these like uh, deep, now that we're deep into the mountains, I'm like, keeps getting better and better. So you already know guys, I'll probably be sitting right here or right up there with a nice morning coffee. And that is where we're going to do it. So, all right guys, let's go ahead and see where the other guys are. We've got Ali Machan somewhere around here. Oh, hello there Machan. What do we have here? Homemade iced tea. Homemade iced tea, oh, yes. this looks delicious. Right when we arrived, guys, they already brought us some delicious iced tea. And honestly, after a two-hour train ride, three-hour train ride, I'm very thirsty. So let's test it out. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Woo! Now, that is good, guys. So we got a fresh, cold iced tea. We're walking out here, and we've got a nice little pool. Oh, we're looking at refreshments times two, I would say. Here? Oh. Violent monkeys, so we should stay away. All right, well, it looks like he's eating the garden over there. He looks like a big boy. Yeah. I'm ready to, we, all our rooms are open right now. I think what that means. They're going for your medical. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we are entering in the room now. Got the stuff right there. Can't wait to sleep tonight. Oh, sorry guys, fell asleep on you. Uh, guys, so I just got comfortable here and I uh, plugged in my laptop and now I'm gonna run a speed test because I always like to see how fast the Wi-Fi is at the place I'm staying. So let's go ahead and get this thing going here. All right, we are connecting. All right, we're going. We've got 21, 22 megabits per second. That's quite good. I'm impressed with that. And let's try the upload. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. 42 megabits per second. Guys, I am very happy with that. So pretty much like even 10 megabits per second if it was upload or 10 download, like that's still gonna be fast for like most people. But as a YouTuber, like I have to upload so much footage so to have 40 megabits per second, that is literally a lifesaver. Uh-huh, there they are. Oh, he's ready for a big hello, night. Hello, hello. hello Saya. Hello, guys. Let's go, Saya. Raise the drawbridge. Raise the drawbridge. I have a swan in my room. I need a chicken mask. <laughs> As you can see, guys, the place here at night starts to light up here. There's a lot of mood lighting all the way up, kind of on the uh, uh, perimeter of the deck out here, and then leading to the elevator. Let's head up. Boom. And good morning, guys. We are up bright and early, as you can see, at sunrise. The day is just getting started here, but we're gonna show you up from the balcony to see how beautiful it is at the shower. Let's get those stunner shades on so you can't see how tired I am, and let's head on up. Look who we've got visiting. Monkey coming to see what type of stuff they can check out for me. It's a nice sunrise view, my friend. You look very majestic walking there. As long as you don't attack me. A monkey just coming around there. Oh, he's going down. Maybe he's going to check out the neighbor's house.
let's head on up. All right, guys, we are heading up to breakfast. Sire, time for breakfast, Sire. <laughs> I think Ali's already uh, upstairs, so we'll see both the gentlemen up there. Oh, we're eating down here. Good morning, Sire. The breakfast champions are calling. And we are heading up here, guys. Ah, fresh and refreshed after a nice sleep. Got a cup of coffee in me now, too. And I've got a lot more energy now to take you guys with us for a little breakfast time. So I'm pretty hungry, I'll tell you that. We are arriving to the rooftop level here. I guess it's the highest floor, not necessarily a rooftop here. Hello, my friend. Subo desina. Komadama-chan. Good. How are you? Oh, very good, very good. Okay, Ready for some delicious breakfast. Sure. Astuti. All right, we are going in here, guys. We're just going to push this door right open. As you can see up here, very nice ambient vibe. Got some music going. Uh-huh. Oh, this is nice. Ambient vibe here, my friend. Get a little morning dance going. Oh, look at this. So you got views of the mountains in the distance here and a few different tables to take your pick. I'm thinking the corner one is calling our name. Now which seat do I want because I was the first one here, the boys are still on their way up. The best seat is going to be, I'd say maybe this one will do the trick right here. Oh yeah. Hello sire, reveal yourself. There he is. What time did you wake up? Five minutes ago. Oh wow. Jeez, I've been up for like three hours already. Called the sunrise, flew the drone, went on the laptop, and uh, chilled. Now we got the uh, breakfast views for days. The late night. Late night? Yeah. Oh man, this guy never stops working. Grindaholic. <laughs> got some fresh coffee here ready to go. Stuti Machan. And look at that. That's going to get us going in the morning, guys. Cup number two of the day. You know me, I love a nice morning coffee. That is the best way to start out the day here, especially with this music. I can't get over it. It's such a nice little vibe in here. That's perfect, my friend. Alright, we've got some uh, sugar there. We'll do a little scoop. A little splurge. I only do sugar sometimes, but today we're going to do it, alright? And then, oh, we got brown sugar there. Perfect. Sara has returned with the sunglasses. I'm back, and I'm feeling better than ever. With a fresh cup of joe ready oh. to go. Subo Desina Ali Machan. There he is. The king has arisen. Hey, how are we doing, bro? Oh, yeah, I'm fantastic. Man. That yeah. bed was so comfortable, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Passed out, woke up the next morning, it was already sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were you, bad? Were you boys traveling down on coffee? Oh, yeah. We're starting out strong with a nice, uh, strong coffee, and then we're going to be moving straight into breakfast. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, we've got the menu here, so we've got a few different options. We've got the English breakfast, and we've got the Sri Lankan breakfast. So we're going to be trying out a English breakfast for sure, but it sounds like our friends here at the hotel are, are going to bring some Sri Lankan options as well. So when you stay here at the hotel, you actually have breakfast included. Oh, that is my alarm to let me know that the train is coming. So we'll get that in the drone for sure. <laughs> breakfast between like 9 20 to 9 40 you can actually see the train pass by so how'd you like those drone shots quite nice yeah the boys and i have some delicious fruit juice of course mr jaggard's already slammed all of his ali's sitting over there pleasantly waiting for us to all try them and we've got pineapple watermelon is this papaya yeah oh all right perfect perfect so we got a few different options that we're going to be trying out and uh we also have a fresh cup of joe so i think the only way to do this is to test out each one so we'll start with a little coffee Ah, very nice. Whoa, wired like Mr. Jaggard now. <laughs> that is nice. All right, so we're gonna try out the papaya first. It looks like it's a uh, quite a thick one here. Probably blended up fruit. Mmm. Whoa, that's like a zing of being healthy right there, guys. Very nice. 
You can tell that's probably like two or three papayas blended up right there, just turned into fresh juice. We've got a couple seeds in the water now that'll uh, help with the digestive system. Let's try this one out. Mmm. Wow. I just feel like I ate an entire watermelon there. And last but not least, we're gonna actually stir up this pineapple because uh, it's separating itself a bit. Mm hmm Which one is your favorite, by the way, bro? Pineapple. Oh, I knew best for last then. Time is right, here we go. Last one, so this will be four drinks in a row chugged. Ali Machan style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pineapple. He's still done oh. it. Wow, mm. loaded with vitamins now. That's how we get the day started. Whew. That's what we call G triple O D. Go, oh, oh. <laughs> Would you mind giving us a quick little explanation of what we got here? Uh, this is kind of the Sri Lankan fruits in the roti. Roti, all right. Coconut sambal. Oh yeah. This is called for the uh, hoppers. Hoppers, yeah. Hoppers. Hopper. Yeah, hoppers. Okay. And this is going to the roast bait, dal, Sri Lankan style. And also it's going to the chicken curry. A chicken thigh? Chicken curry. Ah, chicken curry, okay. And chicken thigh? And A fish chicken curry. Thigh. And fish? This one's fish? Yep. Uh, very nice. And also these are cold cuts. Cold cuts, ooh. So we got some cheese, nuts, crackers, a little bit of everything. Homemade spread? Yeah, marmalade. this is a, uh, yeah, marmalade. 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 So this is a cockroach. Ooh, fantastic. Wow. Stute machan. This is how we call a very good subo desana breakfast, guys. That is gonna be delicious. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this delicious meal. Actually, we've got all of this Sri Lankan food that our kind friends here just delivered for us. And they're actually bringing us dessert, and dessert isn't traditional dessert, it's going to be an English breakfast. So you can tell the British lad's gonna be very happy with that. I'm eating everything before you. I've done the juices before you, now I've done the breakfast before you. So he knows. So how are you feeling after having a little bite ski there? Beautiful, beautiful guys. This is very authentic, you know. Uh, the full experience we're getting, the full experience. Oh, that's good. You can see Ali's just drooling over there. <laughs> Salivate it, man. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Oh, I'm starting to salivate too. So I don't even know where to start here. I'm thinking probably gonna start, I'm gonna actually just grab my plate, walk all the way down here, because we have literally three tables here, guys, because we have so much food and it's not even everything. So we're gonna grab one of these rotis, traditional rotis, toss it right there. And I'm not a huge coconut fan, but hey, when in Sri Lanka, I'm a huge coconut fan. So we're gonna toss a little right down there, get that going. Spicy, sorry? Not too spicy, not you too won't spicy, spicy. Yeah? All right, let's do that. And then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna grab this thing, and we're going to, this is definitely not the Sri Lankan way, this is the Mac way. We're gonna get that going. Oh. You guys already know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Mr. Burrito Man has arrived. All right, now we need a, uh, what is this, curry in here? So we're gonna go with dal. Dal, yeah? Spicy? Uh, no. All right, get that in there, all right. It's the most unique way I've ever seen and, uh, someone eat it. All right, I could toss a chicken thigh in there, but. Maybe I'll get one of those on the plate so that way I can take one bite then the other. And I think it's going to, I know, right, bro? It's going to be delish. All right, guys, so we're going to try and get this thing going. If you saw in a video probably like two, three weeks ago now, Ali and I went on a tour, with, a food tour specifically with Rizena, and we for the first time ever tried these very thin pancake like things. And so now I'm doing it in no way form, no way sort of form even similar to the way we had them last time. Now I'm making the Mac way. Just everything in my life is a burrito. So let's get this thing going here and let's do a proper chow down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of bread when you double down. Mm. That looks so good. Mm -hmm. So here's the trick, Ali. We're loaded with bread, so we need to even it out here. Right now, guys, I can tell you the flavors, they're light because I'm at the very end and of, as you know, when you wrap up a burrito, the closer you get to the middle, the more the flavors are infused. So now I believe with a little chicken mini thigh bite. And this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Am I eating this properly the Sri Lankan way? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's different. But it's okay. But it works, yeah. Burrito style, yeah. So this is uh this is very good guys. I must say the way I'm eating this is not a way that I've seen anyone else have it but I'm gonna keep going because it's so good. Mm. Uh, introduce this uh, dish as well. This is uh, called uh, milk rice. It's in Sri Lankan words, uh, kiribat. But then 
uh, in this translation is uh, milk rice made out of uh, rice and then coconut milk cooked with coconut milk and then garnished with uh, of course the same similar uh, this condiment called lulu miris oh, looks delicious thank you very thank much thank you so much a nice little rice patty cake there. That's and good also, um, Mac, you do realize that that's not the only way to use a hopper. Yeah, actually, the other way is to, to wear it like this. It's, uh, it's a good hat. Yeah? This is the, the way you're supposed to have it. <laughs> I'm going to have this, don't worry. Hey, do you want this now? <laughs> Can you sign for me, please? <laughs> that's Mr. Jagger. You never know what he's about to do. But you gotta, you gotta make sure you tune in. If he's about to do a camera takeover, you know it's gonna be wild. So should I grab one of these little rice patties here? Wow. Oh, it's a cold one. It's crazy. Whoa. It's got a mind of its own. Milk rice. Yeah, it's crazy. It literally like sticks together so nicely. It, it almost, it almost feels like rubbery in a, in a nice way though. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. I've never had one of these actually. I have seen a few people eating them here in Sri Lanka. Tastes just like rice, but I think the nice part about it is it eats like cake. All right, we've got a uh, delicious omelet coming here. So that's quite the mix we have here today, guys. You already saw the Sri Lankan breakfast, and now we have a massive English breakfast. Honestly, this English breakfast alone is probably more food than I could normally eat for breakfast. So yeah, we're gonna have to walk some serious steps today to uh, burn off these calories. But as you can see, we've got the omelet with it looks like some peppers in there, some tomatoes, Maybe those are uh, either thinly sliced potatoes or onions. I'm more thinking they're onions. We got bacon, definitely not Ali's favorite. Hot dogs and some beans there. So that's gonna be delicious. Uh, chicken, yeah? yeah? Chicken sausage. Oh, chicken. Oh. This is chicken too. Yes. Chicken oh, wow. bacon. Oh yeah, then let's try one of these bad boys out. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not a British lad, but uh, I'll tell you, I do love an English breakfast. Oh yeah. Uh, it's my guilty pleasure. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna open this bad boy up, see if we can. Get that flap opened up. Alright, you stay there, you stay there. Right. Oh. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get dirty here. Oh. It's like kind of like pigs in a blanket, except English breakfast edition, so. Once again, guys. Yeah, I do love making wraps, because they just go down nice and smooth. So you fold this thing over like that, and voila, or voila, bro. And then, now we got ourselves a little, uh, Dank Rooney. That man knows how to eat. Mmm. 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 Guys, I will say this is like my number one go-to. Like when I'm at home in the U.S., I probably eat egg, sausage, and bacon probably six out of seven days a week. And every day, I like it more than the day before. I never get tired of it. So I'm true to what I love most. And uh, let's keep chowing down on this thing. Mmm. Honestly, if it were any other food right now, there was no way that this uh, biryani belly, which is now becoming a Sri Lankan belly, would have any room for this, so. You boys are gonna love these. They haven't had them yet. They're just watching me drooling over here like, that is gonna be G triple O D. Good, uh, uh. <laughs> Leave a tip for our good friends here. Oh, Stuti Machans, thank you so much. It was a very delicious breakfast. Very kind people here, guys. They took such good care of us, gave us some delicious food, so much food. And they even had backup fruits in case we were still hungry, but uh, we'd be getting pretty fat if we ate anymore. So. <laughs> Thank you guys. Stuti Machans, we'll Bye. see you later. Bye. Bye. Saya. Your elevator Are awaits. You the elevator awaits. Let's go, Saya. It's a, it's a modern day chariot. Your chariot elevator. Saya. <laughs> Come in in a thy elevator. Be vloggers in a. Actually, you guys, after a delicious breakfast, I think it's time to maybe test out the pool. See how it is down there. Let's head on over. Got the stairway down to the infinity pool. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh. Whew. Oh, that's gonna be an ice plunge, I'll tell you that. If that's not gonna wake me up, I don't know what will. All right guys, oof. That is ice cold. <laughs> when I mean ice cold, I'm saying like, this has got to be maybe 30 Celsius, 25, 25 Celsius. No, it's probably not that cold. But let me tell you this, like, actually maybe if I like do a couple push-ups here, that's going to do the trick. Yeah. Then if I'm warmed up, 
that'll get me going. It can also work off some of that breakfast here. Whew. Got a quick 20 in. That should be enough to hold me off. I think I just gotta go for it. Pain is weakness leaving the body. Pain is weakness leaving the body. That's gonna be cold. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, a true polar plunge right now. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, let's go back under there. Ribsy, thank you so much to you and your staff. Really appreciate it. It was a great stay. We'll definitely be back again someday. And uh, it's been a really nice time. As you can see, guys, this is the view we're spoiled with. And it's been an awesome time. Thanks to the rest, rest of the staff as well. We'll see you next time, my friend. It's such an awesome stay over here at the Hyde Ella. It's a brand new hotel, literally just opened up. So we're lucky to be some of the first guests that stay here. If you guys wanna stay, I'll drop a link in the description below so you can check it out. Super modern, super beautiful, as you guys have came with us on this journey. So sad to be saying bye to this place, but as always, the journey continues on to the next place. So really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, make sure to hit that uh, like button below. And if you wanna see more videos, both here in Sri Lanka and all around the world, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to check out my boys, Ali and Harry's channel as well. They've got content in their own perspective in places all around the world. So I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.